Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have got the new Natasha Denona Biba palette. I had said back beginning of the year that I wasn't going to buy any more brown or neutral eyeshadow palettes like this. Uh, I didn't get the NARS Skin Deep and I was doing so well and then Natasha Denona came up with this and this girl is just just beautiful. I absolutely love this. Uh, it is 15 shadows. She's got what they call uh, there's mattes, uh, some cream to matte formula or cream to powder formulas in here, and then her shimmer chroma crystal type things, I believe. So I so I did end up picking this one up because I just could not resist this. I love I love Natasha Denona's shadows, and this is just a beautiful color story here. You've got a row of your neutral neutrals, a row of your warm neutrals, and then your cool neutrals. And I know that there was a lot of talk on Instagram about this being too similar to the Safari palette. And I am going to have to say I disagree. And I'll show you why. I've got the Safari palette already taken out up here in an Adept Cosmetic Magnetic palette. And if you take a look here, the tones are so different in these. Um, I was, I posted a picture on Instagram and um, of them side by side, and I'll, I'll pop it in here somewhere. Uh, but the Safari palette, it does have neutral mattes, and it has a orange type shade and a red type shade, etc., etc. But the tones are so different in here that I really don't feel that you can call these two palettes. Uh, that similar. Does that mean that you have to have both of them? Oh, no. Um, you know, if, if I had to choose between one or the other, I'd actually, for me, probably choose the more colorful one. If you're more of a neutral type gal or guy, if you uh, then you would, you know, go with the Biba. But if you are wondering if one is dupable for the other, I'm, no, I don't feel that they are dupable. They have similar colors but the tones are very different in those colors and so it's not going to be a side-by-side -side dupe uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so let me get into some swatches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, whoop, whoop. I'm going to go from left to right um, and then so I'm going to start the top then the middle and then the bottom one. It's rustic Prairie, Cocoa, and Freckle, Shine, Pasha, Monroe, is that right? Yes, and Rayon, Buff. Tone, seed, and tar, sculpture, spot, which is that black, and tusk, which is the lightest color in the palette. So there's are some swatches there. I did do the look I'm wearing with mostly the top row from this palette. Um, I will do more if anyone's interested. Uh, if not, we'll go on to something else. I don't doesn't matter either way. I'm flexible. But uh, hang on, and we will get started in this look. Okay, I'm going to be taking freckle. Uh, and I'm going to use that on a Wayne Goss 20 brush, um, or sorry, Wayne Goss 17. I'm going to use that in the crease back and forth with windshield wiper and circular motions for transition. Then I'm going to go in with cocoa. I'm going to take that on a Sonia G Builder Pro brush, and I'm going to use that to start the outer V of the lid of the eye shape, and then also to pack it, pack it on the outer third corner of the lid, and then pull it through into the crease to kind of just pull that deeper shade in there for a little bit more. 
color in there and then I'm taking a Wayne Goss number 20 brush there and just blending that out no extra product on it just blending it out then I will go back to the Sonia G brush the Builder Pro and use that to make the lower lash line with that same cocoa shade and finish out making that V shape on the lid and then I'm going to take a the that is the test color and I'm going to take a refer brush this is the refer uh, PO7B and I'm going to put that on use that using that test color I'm going to use that to soften out the lower lash line and the outer V uh, and then I'm going in with shine and that'll be on a refer SO1 packing brush or shader brush to pack that on the lid to give it some shine right in the middle and inner third of that lid then I will go in with rustic on a tiny Real Techniques detail brush to deepen up the outer corner there. <laughs> Just give it a little bit more dimension there in that outer corner on the outer third of the lid. Then I'm going in with a Cheeky Hoto GSN 9 brush back with Tusk to do a brow bone highlight and kind of buff out that top of the lid there. And then next I will go in with Shine using a Wayne Goss 05 pencil brush to do that inner corner highlight. Okay guys, so this is the look I did with the Biba palette. Uh, if you have any interest in the other tones, this one was primarily the top row of the palette, which is looking like the bottom row upside down. But it is the top row here that I use primarily. If you would like any of these other two rows here to be focused, just I will be more than happy to do that if there is any interest. Uh, I really, really like this palette. I love Natasha Denona shadows anyways. Um, I do not think that this palette is, a, is similar to the Safari palette. Uh, the, as I showed earlier, the tones are just completely different between the two. I think that um, if you love her shadows, if you collect her shadows, I don't think you'll be disappointed by having both of them because the tones are so different in each palette. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye. We're done. And if you take these and you put them up, so I've got the Sephora, so ah, okay, magnetic palette in a depth cosmetic magnet. Oh, I just stuck my finger in there.